In 1999, the Chi Chi earthquake brought out a terrible catastrophe that never occurred before in Taiwan. The beautiful landscape of green hills and clear water was suddenly ruined in one night. Geologically, Taiwan Island originated from the outcome of orogenesis between Eurasian and Philippine tectonic plates. At any time, an earthquake is the greatest threat and nightmare to the Taiwanese. During the Chi Chi earthquake, about 2,300 people were killed. Over 10,000 people were badly injured, and more than 13,000 houses collapsed. As a result of the earthquake, the stratum became loose and led to the latent danger of debris flow. In the Midwest of Taiwan, near the rift zones, in the Walin County, Washan Village was one of the disaster areas. On the 16th of September, 2001, a heavy typhoon rainfall carried 60,000 cubic meter sediment of debris from Dachan Mountain down through the Washan Creek. Farmlands, roads, and the entire village were submerged, and their features were totally distorted in just a moment. Darkness will not always cover the earth. The sunrise of Washan has the residents living in great hope. The Council of Agriculture, Soil and Water Conservation Bureau have assisted the Washan residents to restore their homeland. The local residents tried to help themselves out. They always stayed together to search and discuss the reconstruction of Washan and the future direction. To dredge and harness Washan Creek is the number one essential task. With the ecological engineering method, the members of Soil and Water Conservation Bureau use local materials. The boulders that had once damaged the village are being used to rebuild the embankment of Washon Creek. From the upstream sections of debris flow and landslide sites, they use the staking and waddling methods to solidify the collapsed slope and built the landscaping check dams on torrent to control the sediment. Of course, the Washon residents joining the Soil and Water Conservation Workforce made a great contribution. The residents had no fear of the difficulty and hard work. They worked on stabilizing the hill slopes and planting vegetation to green the mountains. This project has offered many employment opportunities. Moreover, everyone has strived for reconstructing the village. Finally, Washon Creek is animating vitality again. The chairman of the Washon Community Development Association, Mr. Wu, has unified the local residents to set up a debris flow watching team. To keep guarding Washon Creek, the residents have purchased mountaineering vehicles at their own expense. They take turns to check Washon Creek during flood season in case anything wrong happens and will immediately report to the Soil and Water Conservation Bureau which is now equipped with a computerized monitoring system to protect the safety of residents. They have also successfully planted vegetation to green the mountains. On the 19th of July, 2003, the first outdoor debris flow demonstration was given in the district area of Washon Creek. Once again, the valley was filled with laughter and the ecosystem was also revived. The fresh, delicious red coffee beans mark the eager transformation and cheerful spirit of Washon in the old established special agribusiness, Taiwan Coffee. 
Mr. Lai's home was ruined by the debris flow, but he was not defeated. From the baking coffee beans, he has plucked up his courage for revival. Washon residents actively restored the community as a whole unity and started rural reconstruction. Washon residents have reached a consensus to take Taiwan Coffee as the leading head to motivate the recreational industry. The residents have applied their creativity and opened up unique garden restaurants. To taste Taiwan Coffee without haste really lifts our spirit up. The multiple dimension rural developments have made the tea smell more fragrant and made special rural flavor meals and desserts really stimulate our appetite. The ceramics lover, Mr. Chung, has added quite a lot of Taiwan flavor to the drinking and eating culture. In the Taiwan traditional garden, Drinking a cup of coffee with the ceramic cup is more tasteful. As the holiday comes, the crowds of people from everywhere bring prosperity to the Washan area. People can walk along the mountain climbing walkway to appreciate the ecological beauty of nature and breathe the fragrant air from the forest. The earth friendly experience will improve the interaction between parents and kids. The local artists have unified the Chow Chi ceramic manufacturers with the whole unity reconstruction of Washan community. Washan stays alive in cultural and artistic atmosphere more than ever. As to the successful reconstruction of the Washan village, a 78-year-old grandmother could not have imagined that Washan has turned out to be so prosperous today. A night in Washan is like a lady redressing herself, radiating charm and so fascinating that it leaves people lingering on. Under the guidance of the Council of Agriculture, Soil and Water Conservation Bureau, the residents' homeland love congealed during the hardship and the direction of the community development has been searched for together. Wanlin County and Washan Village which was the disaster area once stricken by the earthquake and debris flow, finally has transformed itself into the hometown of Taiwan Coffee. Setting a great example of successful reconstruction of a disaster area and creating another Taiwan economic miracle. The residents of Washan finally walk out of misery and show up with a smile of hope.